Now that you have enabled access as needed for shift scheduling functionality, let's discuss how you will begin configuring your shifts and then assigning them to the respective sites. First, let's set up the shifts. Go to Configure, List Configuration, Scheduling, and Shifts. You'll see that what you're doing here is defining the shift plugging in the start time and end time for that shift and linking to all applicable days of the week the shift belongs to. Here you'll see you have your weekday shifts starting with your first shift from 12 to 8, second shift 8 to 4, third shift 4 to 11.59. Note that acceptable time ranges span from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. A shift cannot cross over midnight. You'll then see weekend shifts, Saturday, Sundays, you've got 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., 8 p.m. to 11.59 p.m., again, you can't cross over midnight, and the remaining part of that shift from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. Each one of your shifts can be assigned a color. This makes it easier for the staff when reviewing their schedules to quickly identify which shift they are working based on the color. Simply click Add Shift to begin adding in your own. First, plug in a number. This is simply the sort order of the shifts in search list. Then enter in a description. This is how the shift will be referenced in the scheduler. And provide a start time and end time. along with choosing the days of the week that the shift applies to. Note you can select multiple days. Then click Update in order to go back and then assign the color. Simply choose the color palette to do so. Repeat the steps until all shifts for each of your sites are configured. Once the shifts are set up, you will then link the shifts to the corresponding site locations. To do so, go to Billing and then Sites. Search for your sites that will use shift scheduling. In this case, we'll choose Home A2. You'll first want to make sure the Eligible for Shift Scheduling box is checked. You'll see that is what enables the two sections here for assigning caregivers and assigning shifts. In this case, we've already assigned the weekday shifts and can continue adding shifts as needed in order to have all shifts available. This will be important when it comes to scheduling. Assign as many shifts as needed. While you're here, you may want to also begin assigning your caregivers that are eligible to work at this particular site. Simply add as needed. And if desired, enter any comments that are applicable for that relationship between the site and the caregiver. Note that you may also link the caregivers to their sites in each individual employee record. If the Assigned Sites tab is enabled in Securities as already reviewed, then you can begin linking staff this way. This may be the desired workflow when adding a new employee to the system. While you're in the employee record and setting up the required information, it might be quick just to pop to this tab and start assigning them to the homes in which they will work. Either way works, whether assigning at the Sites tab or at the employee record, 
but is required when it comes time to begin scheduling staff to the shifts at your homes. Before leaving the screen, it is important to also mention this data field. If time is being captured via a time clock, which is very common in residential settings so that you pay staff based on when they clock in and clock out of their shift, then it is important to plug in a value here that represents the number of feet within radius of the site that is acceptable for a clock in and clock out. Additionally, you will want to verify that the address of the site is correct. This is how the system will validate that the staff are in range when clocking in based on the granted distance from the home that is acceptable. This prevents staff from clocking in when they are down the street at McDonald's, for example, or at the minimum, it at least provides an auditing tool to understand where your staff were when they are clocking in and out for services. Keep moving in this course to learn the next configuration steps.